Hello! This is a video to show your brother, your boyfriend, your dad and your male friends. I'd like this video to be a guide for the men willing to make small and simple changes to help women feel safer. Obviously every woman is completely different so please bear that in mind. This is what I think would help. The first four tips will be specifically for men out walking the streets. If you are walking behind a woman at night or in the day and it's just you two, likelihood is the woman is scared by your presence. So you should make it clear that you are not a threat. You can do this in many ways. Number one is you can pretend to speak to a girlfriend or a partner on the phone. Even if it's just a 30 second conversation, make it clear that you're an ordinary pleasant guy. Silence can be very disconcerting. Two, let's say by um, sheer coincidence, you've been walking down all the same roads as a woman for a while. Chances are she is worried and alert. I've been in so many situations in which I've turned down a random road to see if a man is still following and he, and he is and I've been absolutely terrified. If possible, try and follow a different route to get to your destination. This may seem like a bit of an inconvenience, especially if it adds a couple of minutes onto your walk, but imagine being in our shoes, a woman in a man's world. It's important to remember that women will take the longer route on a daily basis if it means feeling that tiny bit, tiniest bit safer. Three. Avoid eye contact. I have seen some suggestions to smile at a woman on the street, um, and that's someone's personal opinion. Personally, I've had bad experiences that have started with a man smiling at me. So I'd advise to avoid looking at all. Four, if you're in a rush and you want to walk past a woman, don't speed up until you're right behind her and then suddenly pop out from behind her to pass her. You can just simply cross the road, you can walk fast and then cross the road back if you need to. Um, once you've passed the woman. On countless occasions, I've had 999 dialed ready when I've heard heavy footsteps coming up behind me. Five, men in cars. If you're slowing down right by a woman, don't look at her. Make sure you're looking at the road. I know this seems obvious, but it happens all the time. Some of the scariest moments in my life have involved men in cars. So please keep your eyes on the road ahead. A man in a car can be an extremely threatening concept when you are a woman walking on her own. Six, make the effort to walk women home. When it's dark especially, but in the daytime too. The risk of sexual assault or harassment doesn't stop as soon as the sun rises. I remember asking a male friend once to walk me to my door after a night out. We were only five minutes from my house. He didn't. He didn't get why I was asking. He probably thought I was being overdramatic. I'm afraid that's a classic case of not acknowledging your privilege. So I started walking on my own and I hadn't even lost sight of my friend before a man pulled over and started shouting at me. Luckily, my friend was still there, so the man did leave. To my amazement, my friend still left me to walk home alone. Seven, develop deep understanding. Learn why women are so scared. You can do this by listening. Many women have shared their experiences of sexual assault or harassment online on YouTube, for example. In fact, I will leave a link to a really powerful video in the description that you can go and watch. You can also develop a deep understanding by asking the women around you to share their stories. So that might be your mum or your maybe your sister. Obviously, there is a time and a place and you have to be extremely careful. You, of course, must respect that not every woman's gonna want to open up and they don't owe you their story or stories, so yeah, just be very careful and accept no if, if they don't want to share. And if they do open up to you, then you have to be extremely considerate. But I'm sure, I'm sure that's obvious anyway. I just thought it's important to point that out. I think with men, empathy is key. My friend who didn't walk me home lacked deep understanding. If he truly had empathy, he would have walked me home. I think putting a face to a situation really helps develop compassion. If it's close to home, it'll be more urgent in your eyes. So learn by listening to the survivors of sexual assault and harassment. Right, eight, my final tip. If a woman has opened up to you about an experience in which she was a victim, believe her. Women are often pinned with harsh judgments or just straight out called liars when they open up about their experiences of sexual assault or harassment. Now a study conducted by the UN has found that 97% of women in the UK have been sexually harassed. So it's time you start believing women. Plus, wouldn't you have much rather believed a liar than a rapist? So, a few signs that you are scaring a woman. She starts walking super fast. She keeps looking at you. She's got her head down and she's avoiding eye contact. She's clutching her phone and her keys. She stops outside a shop. She's holding her arms around her body, a little bit like this. 
obviously sometimes these things are nothing, but I think it's worth looking out for these signals. Ideally, if you are a man and you happen to be alone with a woman wherever you are, whatever the situation, make the effort to give her space. I also really wanna highlight that women aren't just scared at night. Please keep these tips in mind when you're out in the daytime too. One thing I want to say before I say goodbye is please don't make it personal. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know this. You know that saying not all men only silences women's struggles. It is important to remember that it's not 100% of men, but it's even more important to remember that it is 97% of women. That was eight ways men can help women feel safer. Hope you have a lovely day. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. Yeah, I post every Friday and Wednesday videos about feminism and veganism. That's about it, really. <laughs> yeah. Okay.